I love being able to open the doors to train. Isn't it nice? Yes. <laughs> Good morning and welcome back to our channel. So today's video is going to be a full day of training. We're getting um, into our second week of our new program. So we thought we would take you guys through what a day of training is like, what our new program is, what our new goals are and things like that. So I'm gonna start by writing up what we have to do today. And I guess while I do that, I can kind of talk about what we're doing um, and then kind of why we're doing it and things like that. There's no use in having heaters on and doors open. I didn't turn the heater on. I didn't turn the heater on. <laughs> Alright, All right, so today is Monday. Um, <laughs> first thing we have today is actually our bar muscle up program. So um, Brent Fikowski, who is a CrossFit Games athlete, has a, um, a website called Train Your Weakness and he has a lot of different programs so they're really gymnastic specific. Um, and something that I really need to work on is muscle ups and so I got the bar muscle up program and that is something that I'm doing Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Kenny has decided to not do our other gymnastics program and jump in on this with me. Um, so that's the first thing that we have. So next for today we have weightlifting and we are doing a weightlifting program from Elite Fit Cross Training. Um, mm -hmm. We're only doing weightlifting Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Wednesday's a rest day. Um, and then we're not doing any lifting over the weekend. Um, so Mondays are a lot of like snatch. I think that there's back squat, push press. Friday is a lot of like clean and jerks. And then like Tuesday, Thursday is like accessory, like power snatch, power clean, different things like that. So I know I'm doing it every single day because I, um, along with muscle ups, I need to work on getting stronger. So I'm like right at the like edge of breaking into being an RX athlete, but Muscle ups is one gymnastics movement that I don't have, and then I'm usually not strong enough to lift the weights that they have um, for reps. So I'm working on getting stronger. Um, Kenny is doing the weightlifting, I think what we've decided is Mondays and Fridays, and he actually is going to be doing a strongman event um, later this year. So I think on Tuesdays, Thursdays, he's going to start adding some strongman stuff. Um, so that is kind of the game plan as far as weightlifting. All right, so this is kind of like an overview of what today looks like. Mondays are, uh, a lot of volume for gymnastics, a lot of volume for weightlifting. That's why we don't do any Metcons on Mondays. Um, but we do go to Steadfast um, every day after our training at the noon class. So Mondays we do get our Metcons in there. Um, for Tuesday, Thursday we do like um, really long Metcons on machines, so like rowing, um, assault runner, assault bike, ski, um, with like a combination of just different things. We do that Tuesdays and Thursdays. Wednesdays are um, because we don't weightlift, we do two Metcons. We do a dumbbell-based um, Metcon and then a gymnastics-based Metcon. And then on Fridays, we just do an EMOM of, they vary in length, vary in movements. And those kind of fit our training goals. We're working more on strength, not so much on Metconning. Um, I think after this cycle ends, we'll probably start back up our running, which we did last year from like March until the end of May. Um, and we'll kind of change it up from there. But that's kind of what our training looks like day to day throughout the week. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and get started on what we have today. For the bar muscle up program today, the first thing we have is um, three by six to eight lat pull downs. Um, and then it's gonna be like a laying down hollow body from above your head, pull down to your hips. Um, and then after that, we have two EMOMs. One is an eight minute EMOM and then one is a 10 minute EMOM. And the EMOMs, the eight minute is box dips, the 10 minute is strict pull-ups. The goal is to pick a number that you can do consistently for those um, minutes and not fail. So um, I th I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for those just yet. But um, those are the two strength portions and then accessory is gonna be four rounds for quality, a 20 second hollow hold, 20 band pull parts, and then six to 12 kneeling dumbbell presses.
So now we're gonna do the eight minute EMOM of box dips. Um, I'm gonna try and aim for two every minute without a band. So the biggest thing is me trying to build up strength to do things not banded. Um, and last week we were supposed to do like four sets of max box dips and I think I did two every time but we rested like two minutes in between. So I'm gonna push it and see if I can do two every minute for eight minutes. I do 12. All right. <laughs> Our second one which is going to be the same style with strict whoops but it's going to be 10 minutes instead of eight so pick a number that you can do that's tough but you can do it for every minute i have a band set up um this is probably like a, our medium band we have like really thin red ones we have a black one that's like in between the red and the purple so i'm going to do purple um my goal is to do around five um back to back without stopping sometimes when i do banded pull-ups i'll come down and like hang and rest for a second and then do another one. So I want to see if I can do all five without stopping in the bottom. I'm going to do five every minute strict on our wax bar. We have like, I don't even know what it's called. Bees wax. It's like a special wax that like helps you grip the bar a little bit better. We took like 20 minute break, 10 minute break or so. 20 minutes, something like that. <laughs> we took a break, um, and now we're gonna move on to weightlifting. Um, for weightlifting, we have three position snatch. We did this last week, and it was soul crushing um, because you have three position snatch, and you have three sets of a three position snatch at four different weights. So at each weight, you do a total of nine snatches across four different sets. So that's going to be 36 snatches today. Yeah. My hands almost fell off last week. So I'm going to lift with my straps this week and hopefully get through it and not cry. Um, I can put my singlet on too. Ooh. I just probably watch you do it then. <laughs> Alright, so before I put my sweatpants back on, I wanted to show you guys the singlet that I got. I ordered one from Fleo, which I didn't even know that they carried them, and they're really cute. The one I wanted was out of stock, so I got this one. Um, I was going to wear just my singlet, but it's really cold, so I'm going to put my sweatpants back on. But I needed a singlet for my weightlifting meets this year, and so I'm going to start trying to lift in it occasionally mm -hmm. so I can get used to it. It's not, they're really not that bad. I used to do power tumbling and I had to wear leotards so this isn't, not at all. it's not that bad <laughs> but it is very different. steadfast we're actually about to go inside um the we got a new camera um uh, my parents got me a gopro for christmas and it was close to dying so i did not get all of my weightlifting on 
camera, but I did get, um, I think my 65, 70, and 75% snatches. I did not miss any snatches today. I did my snatch pulls. I did not do the back squatter push press, and I think that's something I'm probably gonna take out because it's just not- It's a lot. It's not doable for me to do all of that on Mondays because I'll be so exhausted and so tired that I won't be able to probably do very much for the rest of the week. Yeah. So I did do my three position snatch and my snatch pulls, and then we're gonna go inside step fast see what we have for our second training session of the day. So first we have five by two deadlifts. Kenny is going to use his Kabuki transformer bar. Are you doing deadlifts with this or back squat? Um, I was going to do some hinge stuff. So like good mornings. It's not a super substitute for deadlifting. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. Set the my shoulders and hinge. And yesterday he also did that weightlifting meet. Um, I think I'm gonna keep it super light and work on technique. So I think I'm gonna go like 125, 35, 45, 55, 65, and then maybe two at 175. So keeping it super light, just focusing on good technique, um, things like that. Gym. We're gonna cook some lunch, chill out, and then we're gonna head to work. So thank you guys so much for following all, following along on our full day of training. We hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give our video a thumbs up and then subscribe to our channel. Um, we are gonna work on getting videos out more frequently, more often. Um, so subscribe if you wanna keep up with those and we'll see you guys in our next video.